morning guys it is so cold this morning it is officially fall weather officially it is 45 outside people are probably thinking like what that's that's not fall <laughs> but it does warm up to the low 70s <clears throat> during the day but it's that time where you have to heat up your car in the morning and wait about three to five minutes to warm up before you can drive finally we made it to Friday I swear Friday mornings are the hardest for me to wake up and go to work because it's the last day it's the day where I get to leave early so I'm just kind of like what's the point of getting up <laughs> but we have made it it has been quite a week for me because once a year at my company they bring everybody into the office including the outside sales team for two days so Tuesday and Wednesday was super super hectic and a little bit chaotic and busy and it was just a lot of stimulation for me because I'm just not used to the office being like that but it was good after work I did schedule a nanny and a petty yes Yes, I finally did it. <laughs> my nails are at a perfect length and surprisingly, they're pretty strong. And I was like, oh my God, please do not chip or break this week at work. I am surprised that it has hold up very well. And I love the shape. And I'm like, okay, it's time to get my nails done. So I found a new place near my job because the first place I, I liked the customer service, but I didn't like how he did my nails because literally after two days it chipped and I went back for them to fix it only for them to chip even more so I, I didn't really like how they did my nails so I looked up another place it had good reviews and so I was like let's go ahead and book myself an appointment I'm gonna go there after work get my nails done I'm thinking maybe like a emerald green you know for the season and then for my toes, I just love like a classic white toes. Let's get this day started. Let's work. <laughs> and I'll see you guys at the nail salon. All right, guys, I just pulled up to Lavender Nails. Time to clean up these crusty feet and hands. So let's go inside. I am back home. The nail salon was amazing. The two ladies that worked on me, they did such a good job. I was actually really examining my nails this time and she did great. They turned out so good. I'm a very simple girl when it comes to nails. And so when you can do simple dip nails, like you're golden and they're so sweet. They're two Vietnamese ladies and <laughs> They're speaking to me in Vietnamese just a tad bit, but they're really nice and the service was really good. Like the owner, he kept checking in on me and then the front desk, he also kept checking in on me as well. So great service, great vibe. We'll see how these hold. I'm hoping it can hold for two and a half weeks or three weeks, but so far, if they do hold that long, then I, I would definitely be coming back to them. Today is like a self-care day because I'm gonna leave in like the next 40 minutes to go get foot spa with Anwar because it's been long overdue. Me and her love to go get body massages like at least every six weeks, okay? Your body needs it, trust me, it just feels so good. And I've been running a lot, my feet has been hurting from running classes, like just really sore, you know? So getting that massage is going to really help relieve that soreness, but yeah. And then we're gonna go grab dinner afterwards at BBQ Chicken. She's never had Korean fried chicken, so it's just on the street. I'm like, let's go here for dinner after our massage and catch up. Also, I wanna give you guys a little update. My coworkers love, love the pie. They devoured it. There was like a small little slice of pie left if you wanna put all of them together, but they love the pie. They were like, oh my God, this is so good. You have to go back and get some more. One of the guys, his birthday was yesterday. So he requested for me to go get a whole strawberry buttermilk pie. And that's what I did. <laughs> and, and so we had more pie yesterday in the office. It was so good. I've never had 
so much pie within such a short time frame. <laughs> but you know, it's the holidays coming up. So we gotta keep our bellies full. They really loved it and we're thinking about getting more pies for next month before Christmas. So, you know, I just love sharing good food with people, you know, like food brings people together. And when I know a place that's really good, I want to share that with people. So again, shout out to Lucene. <laughs> You're the reason why we know about this place, girl. It will always be connected with you. <laughs> I gotta bring the dogs back in here in a few minutes, remove my makeup, and change out of these jeans into some biker shorts, and then head out soon to get my body massage. Oh, 40 minutes can go by any faster. All right, about to strip down and get our massage in. Anwar went to the restroom really quick, but I'm so ready. It has been a couple of days later. I finally made myself a protein shake with banana and cinnamon and it's so good. I woke up feeling so hot and sweaty. Does that ever happen to you guys? I just, it's hot. The massage that I had the other night with Anwar was 10 out of 10 because the lady, like they all know that I like it really strong and firm. And so she was like, do you want me to walk on your back? And I was like, yeah. Wait, like, wait, what? What do you mean? <laughs> and she like got on my back and started like massaging me with her feet. I didn't know that they installed poles going across the room. So like I can hear her like grabbing onto the poles and like walking on my back. And it felt so good. This is the first time that they've ever done that for me. She cracked my back like a chiropractor. It was just so nice, much, much needed. So I woke up feeling really hot and I also woke up feeling really anxious. I don't know why, like, I feel like I have a million things to do today, but I don't, like I, I'm not doing anything today. Laundry's been done. I swept and vacuumed the house yesterday. So I'm like, why am I feeling so overwhelmed for no reason or anxious? I guess honestly, it's the Sunday blues. <laughs> I'm like, it's already Sunday. Like, why does weekends always go by so freaking fast? It's like dead silent, if you guys are wondering. The dogs are outside. Alexander is still sleeping. And I'm just here in my moo, -moo My little polar bear moo, moo But yeah, it is just... It is a very gloomy day today. Like, it makes me not want to do anything. I just want to, like, curl up in bed and just find something to watch on my phone. I've been, I've been back on my Pikachu game. I downloaded the app again because I play it at work. <laughs> but I have been playing Pikachu. If you guys know, you know. Like this game is so fun and it has so many levels. I went up to level 14 yesterday, but then I died. So now I'm back to level one. But it's so fun and addicting. And I like this one because it's so many rows of Pokemon. Fun. <laughs> I remember the first time I ever got onto this game was when my mom and I went to Vietnam back when I was 10. And back then, or I don't know if they still have it because I haven't been to Vietnam in so long, but you know, you'll go to a store or a shop where you can use computers and the internet. So there's like rows of computers. And I remember my mom and I would just go in and I would get on a computer and this game was there. So we were just playing it. And I'm like, this is the first time I've ever seen this game before and it's really fun <laughs> and so that's how I was introduced to that game was when I was a kid in Vietnam at one of those computer stores did you guys ask for that story no we all I can't believe well I can't believe but I also can't believe that we are halfway through November what what it literally just turned November yesterday and we're already halfway what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving let me know what you guys are doing because the holidays, <laughs> it's so fun. The hydrangeas are still holding up pretty well for it to be a week already since I've gotten them. Well, at least one is holding up pretty well. <laughs> these are kind of, yeah, these are dying, but one of them are still really nice. Isn't it so pretty? Ah, oh, 
so pretty. I gotta get some flowers again, maybe next weekend. Anyways, I'm just talking for no reason. All right, it's been a few hours later. It's lunchtime now, and I've got this at Trader Joe's a while back. It's their mushroom ravioli with mushroom truffle sauce. It looks good, so I'm gonna finally try it out today. It says to just place two tablespoons of water in package contents into a skillet, and it's gonna cook within seven minutes. Pretty easy and straightforward. I already measured two tablespoons. I'm currently heating up the skillet right now. Okay, here it is. This is everything. It's pretty much just one serving, but you guys know I always have to throw in a little bit of black pepper. You can never have too much black pepper. Am I right? <laughs> and then I also did a side salad. I just took a bite and surprisingly, it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> In my opinion, this doesn't look that tasty. Like the sauce is kind of throwing me off, but the flavor is good. So I'm not mad about it. Hey, Alexander's home now. We're just taking the dogs for a nice walk around the neighborhood. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes he likes to lunge, he gets too excited. Newman just sniffing around. Is he going to pee? Come on, buddy. Do your thing. There you go. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, does he have one of those little thorny things stuck on his paw? Oh, poor baby. I hate those. Oh, there's a lot. Those are so painful. Oh, that's why I should have got a knife. Oh, poor baby. Newman gets them a lot too. Is he good now? All good? All right, boys, let's go. I French braid Alexander's hair because obviously it's long enough. <laughs> But <laughs> turn to your right. This is horrible. This is so bad. I mean, I tried my best. He was laying down, so. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, girl, let me get your number. This is too ah!